All right, in this video, let's talk about outputting to a CSV file, which is really the same thing as outputting to a text file, except you um, append the .csv. All right, so what's that look like? Let's, uh, so we've got our, our uh, solution open. We've got our package. Let's drop a, no, let's not drop that on there. Let's delete him. Delete. Oh, I hate when that happens. Let's delete the whole thing. All right, let's, how about we drop on a data flow task, right? Because we're going to move data around. Data flow, now let's drop on a, an OLEDB source. And let's configure that source. Uh, new, I don't think I have one. No, this works, DW, I don't want DW. So let's delete, let's put a new one in there. What is my mm -hmm, mm -hmm. name of my server? This is always just easier for me to cut and paste. Control copy. Come back over here. Oh, up there. That's right. Let's choose our adventure works 2012. Yes, that sounds good. Now let's we want to use the SQL command. And I think I have my command over here. We want to return from the human resources department table uh, everything except the key. Let's copy him over. Let's put him in. Let's take a look at the preview. Yes, that looks correct. Um, let's go OK. And now we've configured our source where the data is coming from. Now let's tell it where we're going to put it. So we now we need a destination. We've got our source and we need our other destinations. And we're going to go to a flat file. So let's drop the flat file on. Let's configure it. Uh, remember, red air output, blue. I'm not sure why that should be blue. I really like the green to be quite honest. It doesn't matter what I like. The blue line to connect up to our flat file destination. We need to add a location and the name of the file. So let's go new. We want to delimit it here. We can choose from the different format types, right? And the limit is um, one that's used the most often. Let's say OK. It brings up our connection. We can rename this. Obviously, if we were doing something in a real production environment or a real dev environment, we want to name these to something logical. Let's go here. Let's put it on the, I guess we could put it on the desktop. Why not? And let's call this uh, online CSV. File dot. This is really important because if you don't put the CSV, it's going to think it's a text file. All right. So now we want to open that. Uh, we want to look at. Uh, let's see what we've got. Do we need to name any? I think there are column names in the first row. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, there there are. So okay, okay. We should be ready. Map the columns. Yes, we do that every time because that's required. Everything looks good, and now let's see. Now it looks like a flat file. It's going to push it out to a text file, but it's actually going to create a CSV. Well, this is should. Let's take a look and see what happens. We output those rows. Let's go to the desktop, and we've got a few CSVs, but there is my CSV file. Let's open it up, and there we go. You can see a modified date, the name. Everything looks good, and you can see this is a CSV file. So notice the only thing we did, uh, no, don't save. The only thing we did here was name it. All right, so let's go ahead and delete this. So now let's drop another flat file destination on. Let's do our same thing. All we're doing is repeating our tasks. We're going to create a new one. Yes, we want delimited. Yes. Browse. We'll put this also on the desktop. Now look what it defaults to. So we come over here and we can see, I want to see the CSV files. All right, there they are. I want to see the text files. Okay, there they are. So this is my text output. Cool. Notice we don't have to put the TXT. It'll give you that by default. So uh, preview. Okay, everything looks good. Okay. We say okay. Uh, we had to map the columns again every time. And now, if we did this correctly, it should put it out to a text file. So it looks good. Now, if we come up to the desktop, mm -hmm, desktop, refresh the desktop, 
and my text output and there we go so we put it out to a text box so remember if you want to output to a CSV file and often that is a requirement um, just change the name of the flat file destination to a .csv. All right, thank you for watching.